No magnum bullets required. Whew. How much damage did I take? I mean, caution. Okay. Bye, Alexia. Take the choker. It's a red jewel. It was attached to a choker. And she gets up. I don't think they ever show the nemesis getting up like that, but they definitely did show the, uh... I'm trying to think of his name. Mr. X. They showed Mr. X getting up like that. Is this some? Yeah, this is where I want to go. What is this? Code Veronica. Another title drop. This right here is talking about... Uh, it's... This is uh, Alexander talking about how he uh, genetically engineered his children to be... Well, excuse me. He was hoping for one engine incredibly good child. He ended up with twins. Uh, Alfred was above average intelligence, but was not a super genius like his sister. So I need... I'm gonna go ahead and grab these. Yes. Alright. Got a full heal. So, apparently I'm wrong, but I was thinking that the, uh... It was a little further back before you could come back to this room. So I didn't necessarily have to do all that stuff right then. I could have waited. The only thing I strictly had to do was, uh... Put the... Open that case. And mix the... The, the bowgun ammo. Let me see. I don't need that. So that's a red herb. I need a green herb. One, two, three. One, two, three. Let me go ahead and mix all these herbs. Alright. That up, and I'm gonna take that with me so I can mix with that red, uh, green. I need you. I need you. I don't need you. I need you. And I need you. Okay. Yes. Put you up. All right. Um. um, 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 um. Where are they? Flame routes. Alright. Remember her earlier I said that... Uh, generally speaking, there's almost always a better gun to use than the Magnum on a boss? Well, uh, I've never tried this, so we're going to find out together if this is true. But, uh, I read that the regular grenade launcher takes less shots. It takes uh, two to three shots to defeat the first form of Alexia, which we just saw and demonstrated. And then the... Let 
can go this way. And then the second form of Alexia, which is the final boss, the flame rounds do more. Claire? Is that you, Claire? Chris? No. The door won't open. Hey, is Steve with you? <laughs> For real though, I think it would be awesome if Steve came back in Revelations too. Listen, Claire. We have to get out of here immediately. Can you unlock it from the inside? No, I can't. Chris, there should be a self-destruct system somewhere. If you activate it, all the electronic locks might be deactivated. So we get that, we get the security file. And get heroic music! For some reason. So anyway, uh, before we go this way, I'm missing... There's a card in here, right? Yes. Okay. I'm missing the wing object. And... The actual key that it goes on. Sorry, I have to scratch my ears. So I don't need this just yet. I'm going to put this up. With all that up, I don't. I don't need all that. All right. I'll carry my shotgun for zombies. There's a bunch of zombies in here, and then we'll come back and we'll get the uh, the rest of the stuff. But I was reading that the flame rounds actually take out uh, the second form of Alexi in just a few hits. What is that? Is that handgun ammo? Because I, I don't want no handgun ammo. Thank you. Okay, got all four wing objects. Now we gotta go get the actual key part of the wing object. This is kind of a bad angle. to look at the map there. Uh, we got... Let's go in here first. Okay, this is a save room. Veronica. Useless books. And a key. Sterile room key. Shotgun shells. Uh, I don't need that. Thank you, though. Can I open the other door? No? Okay.
<sighs> I think I'll save the game. Uh, probably. Let's go this way. Come on. Almost tempted to use my to bring my magnum out and use it just because these guys are so. Yeah, now he's moving quickly. All right, lock from the other. Oh, it's locked from the other side. Right. More herbs. I'll take them. We'll go through here. Now you're supposed to turn the power off, but it actually... I don't remember how you're supposed to do that at this point. I just don't remember how you're supposed to turn the power off. Crap. Because you got to get the, the gem. From those tigers. Those tigers' eyes, the red and blue gem. Yeah, that's what you're supposed to do. So, unlock that. Get the heroic music again. So let's go. Which door did I come in? Uh... I think I need to go this way. Use the sterile room key. You're supposed to go in here and turn the power off. It's the only thing I can think of. Yep, turn the power off. Grab the two gems. Gotta go around. But now that door is open, so I can go and get the gems from this way. I've got kind of a frog in my throat. Ah. Not a, like a literal frog, it's a... Uh, it's a bit of uh, colorful language, if you don't know. Okay. So now I can get... Do I have two spaces in my inventory? Yes, I do. Okay. Alright. Home stretch, folks. The stairs we go. 
You know, uh, this game was originally supposed to be Resident Evil 3, and then there was a big stink about, uh, no, Resident Evil 3 needs to be on a, uh, number, uh, I mean, excuse me, it needs to be on the PlayStation. And, uh, so they made this uh, a side game, and they made Resident Evil 3 Nemesis. I don't think Nemesis was even supposed to exist, but they're like, no, we gotta have Resident Evil 3. Oh, shit. That was my bad. Uh, let me look at the map here. Fine. If I hit the wrong button one more time, I'm going to slap myself in the face. Uh, not really, but I need to quit hitting the wrong button. Alright. Alright, so we need to go this way. Come on. Come on. So let's use the red jump. Take the music box plate. Go through the uh, statue's butt. But uh, comparing this game to like Resident Evil 3 Nemesis, it's interesting to see how different they are. You know, I uh, didn't really like appreciate how different they were uh, until like recently. Like this is much more like in the vein of Resident Evil 1 and 2 than Resident Evil 3 was. Resident Evil 3 has got it is. Resident Evil 3 reminds me a lot more of Dino Crisis. Except without the ability to move and shoot. Like, well, excuse me, move with your gun held ready, like you could in Dino Crisis. Nothing useful. Yes, I'll take the Dragonfly object. Is something supposed... I like how he just kind of looked at it like, is... Like, this is usually where this happens. Who knows, it might still happen. I forget. Probably a hunter if there's anything. But, like, I didn't look at the 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 window there it's like chris did it so it's like anything gonna happen this is usually where this happens and now we have the dragon we have the gold dragonfly uh is that something no, nope, nothing useful. Okay. Let me just leave. Probably a zombie out here. I'm probably going to get bit. Oh, no. Not only that, I didn't, I didn't get bit. Awesome. Okay. So I got two full healing items, and... That's a save point. Alright, we need to go this way. I'm going to make one more save in case I screw up the final boss, and then we will uh, be ready to go. But first, I'm going to go like get all the equipment and stuff I'll need. I shouldn't have come down here. I, I meant to go up the stairs. Pretend this didn't happen. Apparently, the Jedi uh, mind trick does not work through the internet. Um... If you didn't, if you forgot that I went down there, 
and the Jedi mind trick did work on you, then awesome. But uh, there's probably something wrong. Should probably go seek help. Maybe see a psychologist uh, and tell them about your hallucinations of the Jedi mind trick working on you through the internet. Alright, so I don't need shotgun anymore. Shotgun has ran its course. 